How's it going, everybody? Well, we did it. Uh, we got this power room all put together. Uh, this has been a long project. Uh, we've probably been working on this pretty good for about a month and a half. Uh, it's been in design phases and really the, you know, conceptual for about a, over a year now. Um, I was excited to get to play with the Simplify batteries for the first time. Um, there was some learning curve because they really have a different method of operation than our standard lead acids do. Even some of the uh, nickel iron that I've done um, have been a learning curve. But I gotta say, so far, these are probably gonna be about the most exciting batteries that I've played with to date. And uh, I really can't wait to see how they work with the system and the, the algorithms look different with the charge controllers as far as the bulk and the float. So it's gonna be interesting to really get this thing dialed in and programmed and watch this thing in optics and see what it can do. Uh, the system is 14 kW of solar world panels. Uh, we have 18 kW of radium inverters that will convert the power from the simplified batteries. We have 10 batteries right now. We're going to add about 8 more if we really need to. Uh, we currently have 34 kilowatt hours of battery storage and I have a 24 kW Kohler generator. I'll show you guys next. Um, again, it, it's really a commercial grade power system. Uh, we build these systems for these mini grids, really uh, mini, or I guess you call it a micro grid. I mean, when you look at the, the way that the off grid is going now, we have so much renewable energy capacity that we're able to use generators that don't need to be prime power because really they're just backup. Um, we don't really expect a lot of uh, generator runtime on this project because of the amount of PV in relation to the battery storage and how much we can use of it every day. And again, it's completely set up that. I have more pipes in the ground if I need to add another 24 panels or whatever I need to do to increase the power as this project grows. It's completely scalable. That's the neat thing about these simplified batteries is that as, as we grow with the project, as they add more things, which happens from the beginning of a project, it's scalable to just keep adding more batteries to the system. So uh, again, thanks guys for following me uh, on this build and we'll be back again next week and I'll be able to show you guys a little bit more in depth of uh, Keenan running the phone or the camera and we'll have all of the labels on and we'll go through the system and we'll show you a little bit more of uh, from the generator uh, to the output. You know, beginning to end, we'll show you the power production of, of kind of what we put in this system, uh, some of the plans that we have for the future. We'll uh, explain, sorry for the hand, but we'll explain a little bit more about why we're using so many of the, the Outback uh, Flexware 1000s for our solar distribution. We have one for our battery distribution, our AC combiners, our generator combiners, our transfer switches. We put a lot into these systems. So we'll try to take some more time to go over everything next week when we come back. Thanks for watching.